This is the sequence in which we assemble the 2x48, 2x72, and 50x2000 belt grinder by knife print. And we will begin with laying out all the parts on the bench. First step is we'll need the bag with the M6x20 flathead screws and one of the 20 millimeter round aluminum spacers for the chassis. And we'll take a screw and thread one of the spaces on loosely to the rear of the chassis plate. We'll then proceed with opening another bag, the one with the swing arm bolt and spacers, and lay them out in front of us. We can then install the spring on the swing arm. Center it on the hole. Take the M10 bolt, run it through the hole, one aluminum spacer, steel spacer, swing arm, and reverse sequence with the steel spacer. the aluminum spacer thread on the screw to the rear spacer The grinder will be, for the most part, loosely assembled, ideally with one and a half, one to one and a half millimeters of play on them. We can proceed with the second 20 millimeter round chassis spacer, taking note to make sure the rear tabs of the spring are behind the spacer so the spring can be loaded later on. Next step is the aluminum chassis fillets. These only go on one way, and the shortest one goes on the bottom set of holes. And the tightening sequence for these is in a cross fashion, right and left sides, then the centers, so it all comes together evenly. At this point, everything should be tightened almost snug. And we'll do a final tightening towards the end. Install bracket to the bench. And the ratchet handle bracket. There's a bag with odd-sized screws 
three M630 by 30 flathead screws for the ratchet handle bracket, one M8 washer for the platen ratchet, two M6 flush mount screws for the work rest and the spring loading pin, and two M6 by 10 screws for the belt grinder guard, for the belt guards. and then proceed to load the spring. We'll lift the tool and arm till the tabs of the spring are behind the hole. Put the pin through. Light top with a hammer. Now the spring is loaded to a solid 15 millimeter thick steel arm. So we exercise caution and safe work practice and do not put our face over it. And then install the handle. This is going to help us compress the swing arm so we can install the last chassis spacer. Put your arm over the handle, compress down a bit. Thread the space around one side. Release. Same on the other side. Do a final tightening. Check and make sure the tool and arms are sliding in their slots. If you see the tooling arm's not sliding, you loosen it up a bit, get it to slide, tighten it up again. These grinders are all bench tested in the shop for fit and to run smoothly, so there shouldn't be any problem at all.
when I was time for the motor. We'll check that the track and wheel is parallel to the deck. Line the wheels, line the drive wheel to the other wheels. Tighten the grub screw. Put a belt on it, check the tracking, make sure everything's tracking properly. Once we're sure that it's tracking centered, we can install the belt guides. And this is the line of grinders, 2x48, 2x72, 50 by 2005 millimeter chassis, and the 2x72, 50 by 2007 millimeter chassis. The only difference between the three is the 2x48 has a few left screws on the front. And the 7 millimeter chassis has a spring underneath the tooling arm and an S handle for leverage. 